Ultra Mega Classic Fantasy Football fans, what is up? And a happy Thanksgiving to you all. Good to be here. Good to see you. Uh, getting a little late start on the recap, but I wanted to come at you real quick before these uh, Thursday games kick off today. Uh, first and foremost, let me just congratulate somebody, okay? Motown Mohegans, the man with no logo, the man with no avatar, the Mr. Blank No Face, if you will. Well, I wanted to congrats, send a shout out and a congratulations to Motown Mohegans. He has won seven straight games, folks. That is a huge accomplishment in the world of fantasy football, uh, especially in our league where everybody is so competitive and, and has such good teams. Uh, and, you know, in a 12 man league in general, uh, winning seven straight is an amazing accomplishment. Uh, so congratulations Motown Mohegans on your seven game winning streak. Uh, unfortunately it will probably be broken this weekend by me. <laughs> uh, anyway, good job. Uh, I'm going to be updating super fan cards, uh, tonight probably guys. Uh, maybe, maybe tomorrow, whatever. Sometime, sometime this weekend I'll be updating super fan cards. Um, I might just wait till the end of the weekend and update both weeks. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let me get on to the recap real quick, uh, though. We are talking about uh, week 11 here. So, week 11, okay. Uh, first of all, Sandusky Showers takes me to the showers again for the second time. I played Sandusky Showers twice. This time he beats me 142 to 81.9. That is terrible, folks. He put a butt whipping on my butt. It was terrible. His high score, Robert Griffin III, 38.4 points. Sandusky Showers is no jokes, folks. He's a serious competitor, um, so watch out. Um, next up, The Batman, 126.5 over Vilma the Bounty Hunter, 121.1. So The Batman squeaks out a win there. Uh, improving his record to uh, six and five, I believe. Um, next up, gradu- congratulations, to the Batman. Batman's high scorer, Vernon Davis. Whoa, a blast from the past, Vernon Davis. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? I thought he was in the Final Fantasy, uh, Fantasy Football Oblivion. There, I haven't heard from Vernon Davis for a while, but uh, Vernon Davis had 20.3 points. Congratulations, to the Batman. Um, next up, Fire Dragons HP. Fire Dragons HP takes out the real McDreamy. 131.8 to 102.3. The real McDreamy will be uh, having his wounds nursed by uh, one of his nurses this weekend, I guess. <laughs> he gets taken out by Fire Dragons. Um, Fire Dragons HB's top scorer, Andy Dalton, 26.5 points. I think we've seen that name before a couple times. Uh, congratulations, Fire Dragons HP, on your victory this weekend, this past weekend. Uh, next up, Motown Mohegans. The guy I was talking about earlier uh, takes down Joker's Wild, 121.1 to 86.8 for his seventh straight consecutive win. Motel Mohegans, uh, top scorer, Josh Freeman, 27.6 points. And tell me, tell me, uh, are you not surprised about Josh Freeman? Josh Freeman's just coming out of nowhere, um, you know, becoming the quarterback we all thought he might be. You know, he's been on sleeper lists for the last two or three years, uh, but only now is he is he coming full circle with his potential. And you know, it's just it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, uh, that's that was a steal. That's a waiver wire pickup. Most people didn't draft draft Josh Freeman. Uh, but congratulations, Motown Mohegans. Uh, next up, Donaldsville Rockin' Bears. Get used to that name, folks. We keep on seeing it over and over and over again. Dville is just killing people. There's no doubt about it. This week he takes down Triple P, 125.2 to 122. Dville Rockin' Bears. Finds a way to win again via just by a couple points this week. Triple P, Powder Puff Pansy is a tough opponent. Uh, no one just like uh, obliterates Triple P. He, he's usually in there always. Uh, but uh, Deville is just, he's killing it this year, man. What can you say? It's just his year to kill it. Um, 
Deville's top scorer, Drew Brees, 26.8 points, a name we keep on here in every week. You know, Drew Brees is just the competitor. We all know this. That's why he's going in the first round every year in fantasy football drafts. Uh, but uh, congratulations, Donsville Rock and Bears. You drafted well. You used the waiver wire well. You're a fierce competitor, and your record is showing it. At 8 and 3, you are someone to be contended with. That's for sure. Congratulations. Uh, next up, okay, Baldwin for the win takes out Skittles, taste the Dwayne Bow. Uh, moving Baldwin for the win to 5 and 6. Uh, 114, oh, 114 to 90.8. Uh, I got ahead of myself there, but Baldwin th for the win moves to five and six. Um, Skittles taste the Dwayne Bow moves to three and eight. So not a very good record for uh, Skittles, um, but I'm going to come back to that in a second. First of all, let's talk about Baldwin for the win here. Uh, Jason Dale, Baldwin for the win. Top score, Peyton Manning, 23.8. I can't remember what what round he drafted Peyton Manning in. I, I want to say it was like uh, round three, maybe round two. Pretty pretty hell of a good deal on, on Peyton Manning though, and he took a chance. You know, Baldwin for the win took a chance on Manning, and he was rewarded well for his chance. With great risk comes great reward. We all know that the price of failure goes up, but still excellent job Baldwin for the win. Great foresight on taking Manning in the draft, and a uh, great job on this win here today. And at five and six, you are not out of the playoff hunt yet. You know you're still in the playoff hunt, I believe. Um, let's see here. What I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, Skittles taste the Dwayne Bow. Let's look at something for a minute, guys. I want to I want to talk to you guys about standings real quick. Um, little something I like to call points against. How can this guy suck so bad? How can this guy suck so bad? Man, this dude is terrible. Well. Here, let's talk about the guy with the worst record in our league. Skittles taste the Dwayne Bow. He's only won three games this year. Okay? But here's something to keep in mind. Skittles taste the Dwayne Bow has had 1,500 points scored against him. Nobody else in this league even comes close to having that many points scored against them. Okay? I am second. I have the second most points scored against me with um, like 1,380 like 1380 um, and you know it's it's just I mean 1380 versus uh, you know 1579 so the guy has over 200 more points that's guys 200 points you're talking about that's that's about two weeks of fantasy football right there that's about two weeks of fantasy football scoring this guy has against him it's almost like he's had to play two more games than everybody else he's had that many points scored he's had 14 weeks of points scored against him in 12 weeks. I mean, that's a lot of points scored against Skittles. So it, it doesn't surprise me that he's 3-8. and eight. Some of that's not his fault. It's just bad luck. He keeps on playing people when their, all their guys go off, and all of them score ex incredibly high. So, you know, some of that's just bad luck. And, you know, yeah, you got to think about points scored against you, you know, when you think about uh, is fantasy football – luck or is it skill you start thinking about points against and I can tell you there is a little bit of luck involved I mean you can't control how many points the, the other person is gonna score on any given Sunday but anyway um, I think that's about all I had to tell you guys um, so I guess what I'm trying to say there uh, to wrap that up is uh, you know Skittles taste the Dwayne Bow was with us last year I think and uh, you know good competitor um, all you guys are good competitors. There, there are no bad fantasy football owners in this league. All you guys, you know, I picked you all because I saw something about you that I thought would uh, be good for the league, you know. And I, I, I watched the way you guys drafted, um, and I watched uh, how you guys interacted with other people, and I just saw that, you know, I felt that you guys would, would do well for our league. So that's why you see it high competition in this league and everyone drafts well and everyone uh, does pretty good on the waiver wire so you guys were all brought here because you're good at what you do uh, so pat yourself on the back there uh, none of you guys suck um, but 1500 points scored against you what are you gonna do anyways um, hope you guys are all having a happy Thanksgiving and I will catch up with you guys uh, this coming week for uh, the next recap 
And uh, hey man, eat a lot of turkey. Get some sleep. Don't work too hard. <laughs> Peace.